Welcome to Sessions Health Tutorials. Hello, fellow therapists. I'm Ian, a practicing psychotherapist, and I use Sessions Health each day in my own private practice. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at setting up telehealth for your account. If you're new to your account, you can just click this telehealth panel from account setup. Another way of getting there is by clicking on account settings and then telehealth. So we're going to go through here because when we first set up telehealth, if we don't have a telehealth location, we'll need to first add that. So we can see here this account had already set up a primary office location when it was being created, but doesn't have a telehealth location. And we define that by the place of service code. So we can either set up 02 or 10. Either one of these will be recognized as telehealth. So let's first do that. We click that link and it automatically added a telehealth location. So there's nothing else we have to do with that. We can edit it if we want, but for now, I think we're, we're happy with what we have. So now we're going to create telehealth links. And we do that by clicking set up underneath the practitioner. If there's more than one practitioner, you can set it up for multiple practitioners. We'll get to that. So you have a choice. You can use Sessions Health Integrated Telehealth, which means telehealth right from within the EHR. You can look at notes, do notes while the telehealth session is happening in the browser. So let's select that. And now we want to enter a key and the key is just the link that you're going to give to your clients. We're just going to do therapist. Oh, it's, someone's already taken it. I probably have. So we're going to do therapy. Your link won't have beta in it. That's just something um, because we're in our demo site. So your telehealth links will just be a, an unchanging URL. It's, it's not going to be different each time. You can just share this link, um, meet. It'll be meet.sessionshealth.com slash whatever you want to use for your link, your name or your clinic name, there's, there's lots of options. And then you can add any additional instructions that the client might see when this link is shared. So now we're going to click save. And here we go. We have now set up telehealth. At this point, we can start scheduling clients using our telehealth location. And because we have integrated telehealth, they can join right through Sessions Health EHR. They don't need a login. Anyone with this link can join. And so clients do not have to um, log in to, to join the waiting room. There is a waiting room and you can manage that. We're going to do a different video for actually using the telehealth. So we'll get into that in a different tutorial. For now, let's just click close. And now if we, we can just add a client real quick and we'll say telehealth client, create that client. And now let's go to our calendar and schedule them. Do telehealth client. We can see we want to change this to our telehealth location. And once that happens, we, we see our, our telehealth URL automatically gets added. And so we're going to go ahead and save that. And we can see now our telehealth symbol on the appointment itself. And what happens if we change our telehealth setup? So if we go back to account settings, telehealth, we can edit our telehealth. So we can say maybe for this client, we want to use a different um, 
external service. And so we're going to switch to an external telehealth link. We can, we can switch that here. And then we're going to say, we need to know, is it going to be the same URL for each appointment or a different URL each time? So this would be if there's um, a, a, a dynamic link where each meeting has its own URL, you would select different URL. If it's the same URL every time, then you'd select that. So let's select that. And then I can just put in a URL. Making that up, I don't think that's a real telehealth service. Now here, if we click this, assign to all future telehealth appointments, then when we start making another appointment, it'll automatically use this new URL. So let's click Save. And now if I schedule an appointment and I selected telehealth, you can see now the URL that we changed it to shows up. So you can always configure your telehealth settings from account settings telehealth. Let's switch back to Sessions Health Integrated. And let's go back to the calendar. You can use the integrated Sessions Health by default and still customize an appointment to use a different service. So let's say Sessions Health Integrated Telehealth is what you use primarily, but there's one client for whatever reason you need to use Google Meet or some other product, you can still just schedule that client and you can still select telehealth and then you can override this URL. So you could still put in whatever that is. Save. So this way we do support multiple telehealth services and it's flexible enough that it can adapt to that. You can also make sure that your appointment reminders have the appointment location in it. So if we come here, for example, we can insert appointment location. And if it's a telehealth appointment, it'll add the link. If it's not telehealth, it'll give the physical address and we can preview that by just clicking this. And you can see here, this would be for an in-person session, gives the address. If it is telehealth, it will provide the link. So you can just do that with this appointment location variable here. So that concludes our setup for telehealth. As always, if you have any questions, you can also reach out to us at support at sessionshealth.com.